Welcome back to the channel, friends. It has been way too long. Val is going to do some yoga with us today as well. She's missed it also. Uh, I apologize for the long delay in getting some content out your way, uh, but just life got in the way, unfortunately. Lots of busy things. Um, of course, we all get busy at times. Uh, not really an excuse, uh, but we are back on track now and we are bringing new content your way. So without further ado, let's hop in and do some yoga. Friends, we're going to start out in our infamous Simple Seated today, uh, just in a nice, comfortable, seated position, legs crossed, rocking back onto those sits bones, dropping the shoulders down and back, closing the eyes, and beginning to become aware of your breath. whether it be fast and thready, or are we slowing down, taking in longer, deeper breaths. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Good, and as we begin to settle our minds, and become aware of the breath. And just thinking about the inhale and the exhale, pushing out those extra thoughts that like to push their way through. Just coming to that place of stillness. As you continue to breathe, and come to that place of stillness, I'm going to read to you from Jesus Today by Sarah Young. I just love her uh, whole series in the Jesus Calling series. Learn to live from a place of resting in me, since I, the Prince of Peace, am both with and within you. You can choose to live from this peaceful place of union with me. This enables you to stay calm in the midst of stressful situations by recentering yourself in me. We can deal with your problems together, you and I, so there is no need to panic. However, the more difficult your circumstances, the more tempting it is for you to shift into high gear and forget my peaceful presence. The uh, topic here or the principle is of course that he is the Prince of Peace. In Isaiah 9, 6 it says, For us, for to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. Friends, I used to live in a place of frenzy. On to the next thing. Where can I go from here? Climbing that mountain as fast as I can to feel like I've gotten nowhere. But as I've grounded myself right here on the mat in front of him, I am so much more in tune with um, the presence of God and my peaceful uh, surrounding of him. I don't get it right every time, but I have become more aware. Uh, as I said 
earlier uh, in the intro that we had gone through a busy season of our life. Um, we had a child graduate from high school. We have another child who's having uh, our first grandchild, and they had their baby shower um, in this uh, short time span. We're ecstatic for all of it. It's all good, but it was all busy, and it entailed me being pulled away from my mat, uh, not just for you, but also for my personal practice. <clears throat> and that was uh, not devastating to me, but yet devastating to me. Devastating to me in the fact that I love to practice, but not devastating in that I would not have handled these things as well as I did this time as I would have 10 years ago before I started my yoga practice. So friends, I'm so excited to bring back to you peace on the mat, to bring back to you the peace of the Father that you can em embellish in as well, and you can relish in his presence just like I have and just like I do. So let's move into some, some gentle movements to get us back into this simple practice. So again, we're just going to come to our breath, taking in a big deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Good. Let me hear it one more time in through your nose and out through your mouth. Good. One more time in through the nose. And out through the mouth. Good. Taking a big deep breath. Take both hands up overhead. Bring those hands together at the top. <clears throat> Bring them on through to heart center. Getting us centered for our practice today. Good. We're going to move towards all fours. So on our hands and on our feet, rotating those elbows in. We're going to drop the pelvis down, tilting up the head as well as the tailbone towards the heavens. Taking a nice inhale as you exhale, press those shoulder blades back towards the heavens. And we're going to rotate through a few of these cat and cows on our own breath pace. Oh, how I have missed this. Not just my time on the mat, but my time, of course, with you, my yogi friends. <laughs> friends or yoga, yoga is always better together with friends. Good, and we will come back to all fours. We're going to extend that right foot out. Place those toes on the mat. We're going to reach the right heel towards the mat. So you're going to feel a nice calf stretch. Good. Along that right calf. Awesome. Bring that back to center. We're going to extend that left leg back. Place those toes on the mat and then extend that leg or press the heel towards the mat. Creating a nice left calf stretch. Good, and bring that back to center. We're gonna curl those toes, come into downward facing dog, pressing those hips back towards the wall behind you. This is our first <laughs> downward dog, maybe for some of us in quite a while. Uh, so we're gonna pedal out those feet and create some space where there was no space or create more space where there was limited space. Good, look to the top of the mat. We're going to walk it up to the top, forward fold it out, good, and then one vertebrae at a time, we're going to roll ourselves up into standing mountain, good, take in a nice deep breath, hands up overhead, exhale, forward fold it out, 
Inhale, we're going to halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold it out. Extend those feet back to plank. We're going to come down into that chaturanga push up and up dog. And then curl those toes back to downward facing dog. Awesome sauce. Good. Look to the top of the mat. We're going to walk it on up. Forward fold it out. Good. Uncurl one vertebrae at a time. Good. Coming up to the top. Standing in mountain. Big inhale up. Hands up to the top. Exhale. Forward fold it out. Inhale. We're going to halfway lift. Extending out the spine. Exhale, forward fold it out. Hands to the mat. Extend those feet back into a plank pose. Coming down into that chaturanga and up dog. And uncurl the toes into downward facing dog. Good. Up to the top and we're going to walk our way up there. Forward folding it out for our last sun salutation. We're going to curl it on up. Coming up to mountain at the top. Inhale those hands up. Exhale, forward fold it out. Inhale, we're going to halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold it out. Extend those feet out to plank. Good. Come into that chaturanga push up and up dog. And then curl those toes back to downward facing dog. Good. Bring those knees down. Take them wide. Bum to the heels and into a child's pose. Good. Coming back to that breath. If you lost it or if um, it has gotten away from you a little bit. Uh, we also dealt with a whole household illness <laughs> while we were off, and I'm still uh, kind of just getting over the last effects of that. Uh, feeling well, but <clears throat> just uh, still get a little winded sometimes. It was not COVID, thankfully, just a summer cold, but um, nonetheless, it was trying times. <laughs> Uh, but we are back in the saddle, my whole family, and we are all feeling well. But it did make its way through the entire family. <laughs> we all had to share, which was not fun. Good. Come back up to those hands. Curl those toes back into our downward facing dog. We're going to extend that left leg back. Good. Bring it on through into a runner's lunge. Good. A low runner's lunge. So bring that right knee down, uncurl the right toes, place that right hand inside the left foot, bring that left arm up to the heavens. Oh, this feels so good. Good. Bring that left arm down, uncurl that right toe, bring up that right leg. We're going to bring that left foot back to meet the right in downward facing dog. Good. We're going to extend the right leg back. Bring it on through. A runner's lunge on the right side. Low runner's lunge. Bringing that left leg down. Uncurling those left toes. Left hand inside the right foot. Right hand up to the heavens. For a nice revolve twist. Good. Good, good, good. It feels good. It looks good. <laughs> You're doing great. Good. And then press that right hand back to the mat. Lift up that left leg into that low runner's lunge. And then we're going to take that right foot back to meet the left foot in downward facing dog. Good. We're going to walk our hands backwards into a nice forward fold at the back of our mat. Good. Just hanging here in a nice forward fold. Maybe a little back and forth motion of the upper body. Maybe grabbing behind the ankles if 
that's what your body is calling to tonight or today I should say it's still daytime all right we're gonna walk our hands back into a downward facing dog coming into a plank good place that left hand in the middle of the mat we're gonna rotate to a right plank right hand up awesome bring that right hand back down into a regular plank awesome sauce we're gonna place that right hand in the middle of the mat bringing that left hand up if you need a modification bring that right knee down to the mat in an L form giving you a little more stability uh, as you move into that left sided plank awesome you're doing great place that left hand back we're going to come back into a regular plank place those knees down bum to the heels for our second child's pose I'm just coming back to the breath Coming back to that place of stillness. Good. We're going to place our hands on the mat. <clears throat> if they weren't already, coming into all fours, we're going to curl those toes. We're going to come into downward facing dog. We're going to extend that right leg back. Good. Bring it on through. Place that right shin behind the hands. And we're going to extend that left leg out long. Coming down into your expression of pigeon. Uh, like I said earlier, I have um, lost a little bit of my own practice uh, throughout the last few weeks uh, that I've been offline. So um, we're going <laughs> to work our way back into a full pigeon on both the left and the right. Good. But nonetheless, this feels yummy. It does not have to be a stationary pose. Um, I've said it before, so you can rock from side to side. It just gives that piriformis muscle a little more ability to move. Good. Awesome. Pigeon is my favorite pose. I'm not sure if it's everyone's because it can be a difficult pose, especially if you're very tight through the piriformis or through the glutes. But working that area, if you are tight, um, is extremely helpful. You'd be surprised in just a few short weeks if you keep practicing with me where you'll end up uh, with your pigeon pose. Uh, you can make it into full pigeon, but you know, it's okay if you don't. Uh, we don't always make it into a full pose. There are several poses that I cannot make my full way into, and that's okay. We just keep trying the best we can, kind of like our Christian walk, right? Yes, this does go hand in hand. Okay, we're going to rock that left leg forward. We're going to press that Right leg up into a three-legged dog where we started, and then we're going to tilt that right foot open to the left side of the mat. Awesome. Place your right foot back to meet the left. Extend that left leg back, bringing it on through. Yep. We're going to lay that down behind the hands, extend that right leg back. And then coming down into your expression of pigeon on the left. Uh, I have been extremely tight on the left side, um, getting back into my practice and warming up here. So we will just keep working at it, and we will get back to where we were, of course, with time and practice. And we will get back to our piece on the mat. And, of course, more importantly, our piece off the mat. What we express 
off the mat um, is much more important than what we find on the mat. We find it on the mat, but then we carry it with us the rest of the day. And I have found that to be extremely important in my life, carrying Christ with me everywhere I go. Good. A few more seconds here on this left side. I'm rocking back and forth, not making this stationary today. It can be a stationary pose, but I am trying to create more space where there was little space. So we're going to get back into our groove here. Good. Luckily, I do teach live classes as well, in addition to YouTube, so um, I've been continuing those, um, so that's been my saving grace, as like I've said, I've not been able to practice on my own, or had to take a small break from my, my YouTube friends. All right, press our hands back up, we're going to inchworm that right leg forward, we're going to press that left leg back into a three-legged dog. Tilt that left foot open to the right side of the mat. Good. Press that foot back to the mat in our final downward facing dog. Good. Press those hips back. Good. Knees to the mat. Bum to the mat. Extend those legs around. I am already feeling much better and much more limber. So friends, we are going to get there. <laughs> Take a big deep breath in, arms up overhead, exhale, forward fold it out. Good, we're gonna go deeper into this fold. I know you say, how can we do it, Sean? <laughs> Take a nice inhale and exhale, forward folding it out. Good. And we're going to slide our way up. Awesome. We're going to take that right ankle, place it over the left knee. We're going to soft forward fold over that left leg. Good. That's a little more intense, isn't it? Uh, than doing a straight leg forward fold. Good. And back up. While I'm thinking of it, friends, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, I did lose a few subscribers taking my little break, uh, which is uh, no problem, but I want to try to gain those back. Uh, so if you're new to the channel, please feel free to hit the subscribe button. Forward fold it out. On the right side, so extending that left foot over the right knee. Good and coming back up to center. Good, extend those legs out. We're gonna bring the bum closer to the heels, rocking down onto the back. Good, bring those knees in for knees to the chest. Rock those hips from side to side. Good, we're gonna extend that left leg, or right leg out, excuse me. <clears throat> We're going to leave the left knee in. We're going to take the left knee and pull it to the right side of the body, extending the left arm out, trying to leave that left shoulder on the mat if you can. Good. Awesome. And then bring it back to center. Bring those knees into the chest as the Title states, a nice, simple uh, yoga practice today. Extend that left leg out. Bring the right knee over to the left side of the body. Extend out that right arm. Again, leaving that shoulder on the mat if you can. A nice spinal twist here. Feels so yummy. Good. And then rotate onto your back. Bring the knees up to the chest. Good. Rock those hips from side to side. One more time. 
Good. Bring your feet to the mat and extend the legs out long. We're going to tuck our shoulders down and under. We're going to move into our Shavasana today. So starting with the face, soften the muscles, letting the shoulders fall heavy to the mat, releasing any tension there. Good, feeling the same in the hips, in the calves, everything becoming heavy to the earth. As we come to our final resting pose, yoga is so much better doing it with friends. And then just soften into the breath. Coming back to that place where we started. Place of stillness. Place of peace. So wrapping up our topic for today, as soon as you realize you have wandered from your place of peace, return to me immediately. Here we are, friends. <laughs> Call upon my name, for this reconnects you with me and helps you feel safe. Don't be discouraged by how often you wander from me. You are endeavoring to form a new habit, and this takes time plus persistent effort. Amen. The rewards, though, are well worth your efforts. The more you return to me, to our resting place, the more peaceful and joyful your life will be. Amen. Thank you for practicing with me today, friends. It was more of a blessing than you will ever know. It is always uh, a blessing to do yoga with friends, 
I hope you find a piece off your mat as you did on the mat, and I will see you again on your mat next time. Thank you.